Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, we will solve some more problems related to parabola, where we will try to form the equation of the parabola by knowing their focus, directrix or the vertex. Let's look at this example. We have been given focus and the directrix. We have to find out the equation of the parabola. So first we know focus is 6, 0. So let's try to draw a rough diagram how this how this parabola will look like. Focus is 6, 0. Directrix is x equal to minus 6. First I'll start with that. x equal to minus 6, x equal to k is a line parallel to y axis. So we know that directrix is here. Then we know this is origin. Then we know that this is axis of parabola. That means our curve should be like this. So what we know, we know directrix x equal to minus 6, x equal to minus 6, it's a line parallel to y axis. So this point is nothing but equal to minus 6 comma 0 because this is x axis, this is y axis. If directrix is x equal to minus 6, automatically we know that axis of parabola will be perpendicular to that. That means on the right hand side I should have x and it is to the right side. So it will be y square equal to 4a into x. Now minus 6 comma 0 is the point on the directrix. The focus is at 6 comma 0. That means the vertex is at 0 comma 0. So y square equal to 4 a x, y square equal to 4 into a, a is nothing but 6 into x which is equal to y square equal to 24 into x. So that is the equation of the parabola which is having focus at 6 comma 0 and the directrix x equal to minus 6. Let's look at this one. We have been given vertex equal to 0, 0 and focus is 3, 0. So let's draw how the graph will be. Vertex is at 0, 0. So I will take this is x axis, this is y axis. Vertex is at 0, 0. That is where it is. And the focus is at 3, 0. That means the directrix will be here and the and point will be minus 3, 0. So then how the graph will be, how the curve will be, the parabola will be like this because we know it is symmetric about x axis. It is nothing but y square equal to 4ax and 0 to 3 the distance is nothing but 3. So a equal to 3. So we know that y square equal to 4 into 3 into x, y square equal to 12x. So y square equal to 12x is the equation of the parabola which satisfies the condition that vertex is at 0, 0 and focus is 3, comma 0. We will do one more. Focus at 0, comma minus 3 and directrix y equal to 3. The first thing what I will do is I will draw the directrix. I know y equal to 3 is a line parallel to x axis. Let us say this is our x axis and this is y axis. We know y equal to 3 is a line parallel to x axis. So this is the line which is y equal to 3 and the point on that is 0, 3. Then we know vertex is 0, 0 because the focus is at 0, minus 3. Now how this graph will come? From the diagram we can see that the parabola is symmetric about y that means x square equal to 4ay but it is opening down that means it will be minus 4ay x square equal to minus 4ay and we know a equal to 3 here so x square equal to minus 12 into y is the solution let's do one more vertex is 0 comma 0 focus is minus 2 comma 0 
So vertex is 0 comma 0, focus is minus 2 comma 0. That means we know that the directrix will be 2 on a point 2 comma 0, which is a line parallel to y axis. So the axis of parabola will be perpendicular to that, which is nothing but horizontal line or x axis. And since we know that a equal to 2 and it is opening to the left side, y square equal to minus 4ax, a equal to 2. So we'll get y square equal to minus 8x. Vertex is 0, 0, passing through 2, comma 3 and the axis is along x axis. So we know that axis of parabola is x axis. So this is the now we don't know whether we have to go to right side or we have to go to left side. Is it y square equal to 4ax or is it y square equal to minus 4ax? For that what we will do? We know 0 comma 0 is here. It is passing through 2 comma 3. 2 comma 3 will be somewhere here. So the curve will come like this. That means it is nothing but equal to y square equal to 4ax. Now how to find out the a value we know vertex is 0 comma 0 and it is passing through point 2 comma 3 which is positive side of x axis so y square equal to 4 a x substituting 2 comma 3 points in this we know 3 square equal to 4 into a into 2 or a equal to 9 by 8 once i get a equal to 9 by 8 i can go back and write down y square equal to 4 into 9 by 8 into x or can I say 2y square equal to 9x. So the equation of the parabola will be 2y square equal to 9x. So let's repeat this vertex is 0 comma 0 pa symmetric along x axis that means we know either it is y square equal to 4 a x or minus 4 a x but how to how to confirm it is 4 a x because it is passing through 2 comma 3 that means it is on the positive side of the x axis that means it's opening to right side y square equal to 4 a x. Let's look at this vertex 0 comma 0 vertex is 0 comma 0 passing through 5 comma 2 5 comma 2 comes somewhere here and symmetric with respect to y axis we already know that it is symmetric with respect to y axis so the curve will be going like this so we know what is this equation x square equal to 4ay because it's a opening up it is x square equal to 4ay y x square equal to 4ay symmetric with respect to y axis that means axis of parabola is y axis so symmetric about y axis that means x square equal to 4ay now let's substitute the values x square 25 equal to 4 into a into 2 or can I say a equal to 25 divided by 8. Now what will be the equation then? x square equal to 4 into 25 by 8 into y or 4 will go 2 times. Can I say 2x square 2x square is equal to 25 into y. 2x square equal to 25 into y is the equation of the parabola. So these are the some problems where we have been given the different parameters, inputs like focus, vertex, or directrix, or it is passing through a particular point, or axis of parabola with the help of which we are able to find out. In the next session, what we are going to do, we are going to look into the derivation of where the vertex of the parabola is not at 0, 0, it is at some other point h, k. And we will try to solve some simple examples based on that, where the equation is not y square equal to 4 a x, but it is y minus k whole square equal to 4 a into x minus h, because the origin is because the origin is shifted from 0, 0 to h, k. We will look into into that in the next session. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.